एशियन मोबाइल क्वालिटी ई लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस ऑन द गो वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग व्हाट इज वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग वेल वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग इज टाइपिंग और ब्रिंगिंग लेटर्स नंबर्स एंड डिजिट्स फ्रॉम अ मशीन डाउन टू पेपर एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर हियर एंड द पास्ट वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग इन्वॉल्व द यूज ऑफ टाइप राइटर्स बट नाउ A modern technology we now use computers for word processing. Word processing involved in computer means using a computer to create, edit, or print documents. Of all the things we can use computers to do, word processing is the most common. To perform that, we need a computer, a special program called a word processor, and a printer. A word processor enables you to create a document, store it electronically on a disk, or display it on a screen. Modify it by entering commands and characters from the keyboard, and if you want, print it on the printer. Examples of word processing packages or word processors are Microsoft Word, Lotus Word Pro, WordPad, and WordPerfect. That means that almost everything we have, from our documents to our letters, everything we have typed on paper and printed, are most times designed with word processors. Now let us look at some features of standard word processors. First of all. Power management. Many word processors contain power management capabilities that allow you to create, delete, move, and search for files. Also, font specifications. This allows you to change fonts within a document. For example, you can specify bold, italics, and underlining. That means that as you are typing, for example, the words we see in the screen here, we can change the coloring from blue to black, from blue to red, and we can also change the size. We can also change the way it looks. For example, does it come out bold or does it come out in italics? As you can see here, that is what word processing looks like. We can also automate the numbering and placement of footnotes. It can also enable easy cross-reference from one section of the document to another. Graphics is another function of standard word processors. They allow you to embed illustrations and pictures into a document. Some word processors let you to create the illustration within the word processor. while others allow you to insert a picture from a different program maybe after designing the picture or a picture that you took with your camera you can place it in a letter or on something you are typing on you also have headers footers and page numbering this allows you to specify customized headers and footers that the word processor will put at the top and bottom of every page the word processor automatically keeps track of page numbers so that the correct number appears on each page That is why it will not give you one, three, six, no. But instead, even though you don't type it in, it will be showing one, two, three, four, and so on. It also allows you to specify different margins within a single document, and to specify various methods for indenting paragraphs. For example, at this point in this part, we can see that there is a paragraph. I can also notice that from here on, there is a different coloring, and we can notice that the header here is of a larger size. Than what is written here, that shows us word processing, standard word processing. Now let us look at other things. Macros. A macro is a character of word that represents a series of keystrokes. The keystrokes can represent text or commands. The ability to define macros allows you to save yourself a lot of time by replacing common combination of keystrokes. For example, most typers know that using a word processor like Microsoft Word. When you want to type a capital letter, instead of typing or pressing caps lock first and typing A B C, you can just hold the shift key down and type A B C, and it shows the capital letters. That is macros. Also, merges. Merges allows you to merge text from one file into another file. This is particularly useful for generating many files that have the same format but different data. For example, when generating many levels, most times people use merges. To replicate the data that they are correcting, we have spell checkers. Most word processors come with a spell checker that allows you to check the spelling of words. It will highlight any word that is wrong, and it does not recognize. Tables of contents and indexes also allows you to automatically create a table of contents and index based on special codes that is inserted in the document. Most of them also come with a dictionary that is a thesaurus. They allow you to search for synonyms without leaving the word processor. We also have the windows. Most processors allow you to edit two or more documents at the same time. 
That is, it can be written a letter at one part of the page and also a document at the other part of the page. Each document appears in a separate window. This is particularly valuable when working on a large project that consists of several different files. Also, word processors come with what is called what you see is what you get. Y C Y G. What you see is what you get. What does that mean? Well, as you type it on a document on your screen, what you see on the screen is how it will look like when it is printed. That is, what you see on the screen is what you get on paper.